Hello, beloveds. I wanted to share with you something that happened to me last ceremony that I wanted to speak on because I feel like it's a programming in the collective that we need to be aware of so that we can shift it. Uh, David and I were sitting in ceremony and it was our turn to have our energy cleansed. And so we sat up you know, on the bench to have our energy cleansed. And I was in state of really deep gratitude. And when I'm in that state, I cry. It's tears of gratitude and joy. It's not because I'm sad. It's such a deep feeling of just being thankful. And the, I don't know what you want to call him. I don't know if shaman would be the right word or um ayahuasca -era, i don't know do you know david servant servant uh -huh. the servant um that was doing our cleansing said why are you crying don't cry like and i explained that it was this gratitude a deep gratitude but it, it, i could tell because of some program or something in him that it almost like made him a little uncomfortable like you're you know why are you crying and then he's like no woman no cry and, and I'm like gosh I you know if we could really honor in each other because to me it's my superpower you know being able to feel that deeply and have that much gratitude like I it's like oh so deep inside me and those feelings you know when I can tune into that are very powerful our feelings are powerful our hearts are powerful and telling anyone especially our young children not to cry I think is such an injustice to the beauty of being able to feel. I mean, sometimes, yeah, they might be throwing a temper tantrum and you don't want to allow them to cry, do their thing, maybe in the other room. You know, you don't have to have them do it right in front of you. Uh, but allowing that, and, and that's not the kind of crying I was doing, obviously, but the, the feeling and that emotion because crying gets out and releases the emotion. So if they've had something that's really upset them, then they need to get that out, release the emotion, and then they're not bottling it up. We've been taught so much to suck it up, to hold it in, and those trapped emotions get stored in our bodies and then wreak havoc on us and cause all sorts of disease in our bodies so being okay with someone else feeling deeply being able to hold space and not judge it is what is being called for So I hope uh, that helps some of you on your path and it's okay to feel. It's beautiful to feel. We're human beings with feelings and it is our superpower. Those of us that we all can because we are one, but those of us who have really tuned into our hearts and our heart centers and shed those layers and can really like feel that is a super, super, super power. Don't ever turn that power off. Much love.